Hi again. Okay, um, I'm warning you that this might be long because I'm getting into a bunch of different stuff about YNR. Not just today, but stuff in the past. And seeing as it's Black History Month, um, I consider, I know, okay, a disclaimer, whatever. Um, I already know that YNR is not the only soap to have African American actors. But. I'm saying that soap, along with Bold and Beautiful, is the most cast with the most African Americans in it. So that's why I'm focusing on it. So don't hit hit me for the Angie and Jesse I know, and the the Nora and, and the Hank and the everything on One Life to Live. Um, I know. All right. Um, today I'm focusing on YNR for today, but also going back a bit. Um, alright, how am I going to tackle this? Alright, let's do the Black History part first. Although I could do it second, I don't care, but I'm just saying, I'm just thinking about it, so I'll, I'll discuss it first. Um, alright. Uh, the reason why I said what I said was because, yes, the other shows had African-American, other race actors in it, on it, but YNR was the most concentrated um, use of diverse actors on a soap. Um, you had the whole entire Winters family that was African American. And you had other people too who came in and whatever. So that's why I'm, that's why I said that. Um, I mean, you have Shamar Moore who played Malcolm. And you had the wonderful, lovely, missed Christoph St. John who played Neil. Um, and you had the wonderful Victoria Rao who played Drusilla. I mean, okay, if you focus only on the acting for a second, I mean, we're talking top caliber acting. So, you know, and then if you want to get on the personal side, I mean, I've never known three people that were more activists for everything um, before, so, uh, you know, you know, Christoph St. John, uh, what, was a, uh, big champion of mental health and a lot of different causes, and Mac and, um, Shamar Moore did, did the same and did some other things, and Victoria Rao was the one who introduced the adoption storyline, or the idea of the adoption storyline, for Brighton James, um, which is Devon Hamilton. Um, so, you know, uh, I don't know how much more activism you can have. Um, as far as, you know, and, and I mean, think about it like this also. I mean, you have a person who was, um, you know, as a child actor, came from a child actor to growing into a teenager, and now he's grown from a teen to an adult on the same soap for at least 10 years. At least. And he's matured, and he's matured as an actor, and you can see it. That's what I'm talking about. And down deep, he's a good person with a good soul and everything. And he's all about helping people and, and you know, uh, shining a light on other people and everything that I'm, I'm for to you, so. Um, and, and Lily, Crystal, I mean, Crystal Khalil, I mean, she started when she was 16, 17, and she's been on there on and off for, for, Ever. I mean, for at least 10 to 15 years. And so, you know. Um, 
But okay, getting to today's storyline. Um, all right. First of all, let me say, I like Tucker. I think the role of Tucker. I think Trevor St. John does a great job. However, I do not like him because he's playing two women against each other. I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Okay, because a couple weeks ago, he was with and sleeping with Andre Charles. So I'm like, okay, they're a match. You know, they've known each other. They're they're kind of the same kind of as you. Great. Now, he's back to playing Ashley again and trying to get in Ashley's good graces. Which, if you know the way Eileen Davidson plays a role, he hasn't got a chance. Because she'll take what you said and turn around and not use it against you, but say, okay, how could you say this if you said that before? So, what's the truth? So, she could spit him out and have, have him for lunch and spit him out. Oh, crap. All right, hold a second. 